All I can focus on is my lips that are on fire right now from this plumping thing. All right, so today it is foundation Friday. This one has been a long time coming. This one you guys have been asking about since it came out. We're doing it today. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact Skin Transforming Full Coverage Solid Super Serum. Why does It Cosmetics always have to have mile long names? If you're new, I'm gonna leave my Foundation Friday playlist down below. You can go watch all of my foundation videos. I also do 15 days of foundation on my channel and I am going to be announcing the dates of the next 15 days of foundation when you guys are saying this in a week or two. So stay tuned. I'm probably gonna announce it on social media first before I announce it in a video. So keep an eye out for that. 15 days of foundation is coming back. So I never get a Facebook message. Isn't it weird how we know automatically the tunes of different messages? Back to foundation. So I have pretty high hopes for this product because It Cosmetics makes some of my favorite face products. The Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder is one of my favorite powders. I love the CC Illumination Cream. My skin reacts really well to cosmetics. So let's go on Ulta and read some of the claims about this guy. So this product you can find on Ulta retails for 38 bucks and you get 0.63 ounces of product. So a little bit less than a standard liquid foundation. Keep in mind, this is a solid serum foundation and it is supposed to be full coverage. So Theoretically, you should probably have to use a little bit less product than a liquid foundation. It comes in seven shades, so not great at all. It Cosmetics, you really need to up your shade game. We need more than seven shades. I have the lightest shade Fair. Their description for Fair says ultra porcelain, fairest of the fair. If you're pale, you know that that is quite the statement to make. Their deepest shade is called Deep, and it says re re reach my brain feels like a mashed potato today. Rich to deep skin with warmer tones. So I'm gonna start some swatches right here so you can see how this foundation compares to some of the other lighter shades of foundations that I own. All right, so swatch time right here is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact. I don't think I would call this fairest of the fair shade wise. Right next to it is the It Cosmetics BB Cream in the lightest shade. Next over is Dermacol 208. Then we have Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. Nars Sheer Glow in Siberia and Urban Decay Naked Foundation in 0 0.5. So it says, developed by plastic surgeons, Confidence in a Compact is the first ever clinically shown anti-aging solid serum. It's infused with full coverage pigments. It has SPF 50, which is great. It delivers all the skincare benefits of Confidence in a Cream, which is just their moisturizer, plus your full coverage foundation and SPF in one simple step. It is groundbreaking technology combined with collagen, hyaluronic acid, antioxidants, and ceramide cream. It says it's supposed to be good for sensitive skin, and on the box it says for all skin types. Ultra lightweight serum foundation for mess-free, weightless coverage that feels like nothing but does everything for your skin. Yeah, there's a lot of claims on here. If you want to read the whole thing, head over to Ulta. I'm not going to read through this, but it basically sounds like a miracle. So if you guys are excited for this video and you like Foundation Friday, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Let's jump into the video. If you guys want to see how the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. All right, so my phone is charging, but it is 10.30 in the morning right now. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. I have a different spiel today because I didn't use my Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. That one is now totally gone. I have 5,000 primers, so I'm gonna try and find another primer I like before I decide if I wanna repurchase that one. So today I'm wearing the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Light. Is my camera crooked? Why does it look crooked? I don't know. This one's supposed to be for combination skin, which I have. I get pretty oily throughout the day. So a lot of you guys on Snapchat said that you liked this primer. So we're gonna give it a go. It has a similar kind of feel to the Jouer one. It's a bit more like a lotion, but this one totally dries down and just feels smooth. It doesn't leave like a tacky feel. Okay, so I'm excited. I'm really curious about this one. Here's the box. You've already probably seen it. Here's the packaging. I like it. I like the silver kind of mirrored look on the front and it's just a compact, which is really great for traveling, for throwing in your purse, whatever. The packaging of this is pretty similar to a cushion foundation. It has this kind of sealant opening that you just snap shut when you're done. So this does come with a sponge, which we are not going to be using. And then it comes with a sealant to protect the product. This thing is in here. What the heck? Don't do that at home. In the compact, it looks pretty dark. So I have their new Heavenly Skin Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush. I'm gonna try to apply it with this. As a backup, I have my e.l.f. brush here. So I might try it with this brush as well. Not sure if I wanna do a sponge. I normally do one half of my face with a sponge. This is my Pure Cosmetics sponge. 
Might as well try it. Maybe we'll try it on a little portion down here. But I'm gonna start out with this brush and this It Cosmetics brush feels hella soft. Like I could just sit here and rub this all over my face. It does have an angle to it. It Cosmetics brushes are extremely soft, high quality. If you've never tried them, they feel like heaven on your face. So it says to just directly swirl in here and apply to the face. And this is supposed to be full coverage. So let us swirl. That didn't get anything on the brush, so I'm gonna swirl a little bit harder. There might be kind of a solid layer on top. Okay, so it looks like I got a bit more product. I think you kind of have to break the top layer. All right. I don't think I got enough. Okay, let me really swirl in here. Okay, there we go. With this brush, it's feeling pretty thin thick, to, like hard to blend out, not thick, just a little bit stiff to blend out. It's not like it's gliding over my skin or anything. I like the shade of it. Um, I definitely wanna try it with the other brush. Actually, I'm just gonna take the e.l.f. brush right now and finish this off done. Okay, yeah, yes, I like it better with the e.l.f. brush. Interesting, okay, so on areas where I'm kind of going over it with this brush, it's almost taking it away, so I think it's a one kind of go thing. You probably don't want to layer this. I mean, you don't really need to though because I'm getting really good coverage on the first layer. I'm gonna try this e.l.f. brush down here on my acne. So I still need to use concealer to cover up some of my more pigmented acne spots on my face. Full coverage and it feels really, it feels really lightweight. Now this blended out. There is like a red patch right here where I tried to go over it with the e.l.f. brush. It kind of just took away all of the product. I'm gonna try with this brush. No, so if you go over this with the brush after it's on, it kind of just takes it away. So I'm gonna just put a little bit on my finger to try and add that back in. So once this is on your face, you don't wanna mess with it. This little area right here is looking a little funky. Maybe I'll try this again on the forehead just to make sure I like the elf one better. Yeah, it's very, it feels to me pretty stiff to blend out. I wouldn't say this glides on. Since it says it's a solid serum, I kind of had a feeling this would like glide out, kind of like the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. This one definitely is a bit more difficult to blend out and it doesn't look like it goes over any kind of major spots very well. The product really isn't sticking. This is interesting. I like how it looks. I like the coverage on the areas of my face where I don't have zits, but if you have any kind of texture not sitting very well on dry patches up here and it literally just isn't covering or sticking to my zits up here. I'm gonna try it with the sponge just for the heck of it on the other side. So with the sponge I'm like just kind of digging in. Again, hard to blend out. I'm gonna actually use my finger to try and blend it out up here. Since it's not blending out super easily maybe we need the warmth of my fingers to help Blend it out. Mm, much lighter coverage if you use your fingers and the sponge. I mean, this side we're getting like highlight coverage, low medium coverage, this side definitely better coverage. So to finish off this side, I'm gonna go back in with the e.l.f. brush. I think I like this the best to apply it and let's hope we don't get any texture since I'm kind of going over this a bit. Once it's actually blend, what is this hair doing? Once it's actually blended out on your face, I mean, it looks really nice and smooth. On my cheek area, there's not a whole lot of texture at all. It just looks very nice and smooth. My forehead up here, different story. Let's try this side. I'm trying to smooth this out with a sponge bit on my forehead. Application, not quick at all. You really have to work this into your skin. Why am I using my left hand right now? So I'm gonna get up close and show you my forehead and kind of this area so you can really see. And right here, can we focus? So hopefully you guys can see this, but right here, it just literally did not stick to this or this acne, pretty much any of my acne on my forehead. It just totally kind of separated from what is going on. I do think it looks nice and smooth on my cheek areas, but again, it just really didn't cover any of my acne. I don't know what's going on with the focus right now, but right here, this is that patch I was talking about where it just doesn't want to stick to at all. You can see like the redness coming through right there. I am going to spot conceal these areas to try and cover them up. I don't have major dry patches anywhere, but it does seem to be emphasizing the ones that I have on my forehead up here. So far, having kind of mixed feelings because I do like how it looks on the second 
second half, the bottom half of my face. My forehead, it just really doesn't look great. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. I feel like this lip gloss is gonna be all over my teeth in about two seconds. Oh yeah. So obviously the rest of my makeup is on. What time is it? So it is 11.28. So we are calling the check-in time 11.30 despite me not being a super big fan of this foundation right now. I like how the rest of my makeup turned out. So I'm gonna tell you guys everything that's on my face in a second, but let's talk about the foundation real quick. So I did have to spot conceal over my acne to cover them up. I spot concealed on the center of my forehead where that zit is over here down on my chin. So the only place I set my face was just the center of my forehead and a little bit on my chin using whatever was left over from my stargazer powder just after I set my under eyes. So there's not any kind of powder on the rest of my face. So I like how it looks here down. Like I said, really don't like how my forehead looks. You guys will see a natural lighting in the next check-in, but it looks very textured on my forehead, dry, patchy. I do want to say sometimes I get questions about why I film the intro once the rest of my makeup is on that it like ruins the surprise or whatever. And that's just the way I like to film foundation videos. This is a prime example that in my opinion doesn't ruin anything because a foundation can look great on camera under the lights and everything. But the way it looks tells you nothing about how it applies, what I think of it, how much I had to build it up to get the kind of coverage I'm at right now, all the small details that you actually hear during the demo. So if anyone asks in the comments from here on out, we can reference this answer and on the teeth again. My lips are on fire because I'm wearing like a plumping gloss right now. I pretty much feel like putting any kind of product on top of this foundation, it just does not like it. It's like a magnet, an opposite. What am I trying to say? What is the analogy I'm trying to make here? They repel each other basically. So when I blended out my blush, bronzer, and highlight, when I carved out my brows with concealer, any kind of product on top of this foundation on my skin does not sit well. It kind of just takes away the foundation. On this half of my face, it looks very skin-like. My pores don't look emphasized or anything. That I do like, but you know my thoughts on the rest of it. Okay, let's move on. The makeup on the rest of my face. I'm gonna start off with this highlighter because I am so free freaking excited about this. You need to pause this video right now, go on Ulta or JCat, wherever you can get it. I'll link it down below and get this highlighter because what the heck, this is stunning. If you have more fair skin and you like a pinkish kind of toned highlight, I mean, what the heck? This is so beautiful. This is the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in Bella Rose. I believe this is new. I feel like this is gonna be my new favorite highlighter when I want a very intense highlight you need this in your life. So for contour, I use the Pixie and Miriam palette. I tried out this shade right here for the first time and it looks pretty dark in the pan, but if you use a light hand, I think it can work. Blush, again, in love with this. Max Factor Nude Mauve Blush, amazing. What did I do? So on the eyes, for eyeshadow, all I used was this same bronzer palette. I used these two shades right here. And then for the glitter, I went in with this Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow. This is new, I bought this off Sephora. I only got one shade, but I feel like I need to buy them all now. I never wear glitter because because it's such a pain in the ass to apply and it just gets all over your face, you know the drill. But this is liquid glitter and it is stunning. Excited about this too. I feel like we have a lot of wins on the rest of my face. Eyelashes I use my Black Magic Lashes in Noctura. Lips I use the new Pure Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Obey. This has almost the same kind of formula as the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I feel like that they don't totally dry down. I haven't worn one throughout the day yet, so this will be the first time, we'll see. But I also put a gloss over this. I used the new Glam Glow Pumperageous, Plumperageous Gloss in Casting Couch which is really pretty. My lips are on fire, but I like the color of this. And I set my face like usual the past, I don't know, month probably. I've been using the Catrice Prime and Fine Multitasking, Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I thought it might help to settle kind of the texture on my forehead and it didn't do a whole lot there, but I am wearing setting spray. I always wear a setting spray. Calling the check-in time, 11.30. Next check-in I do will be in natural lighting. I will see you guys in a few hours. All right, so it is now five o'clock. So the foundation's been on for five and a half hours. I am hangry right now. I currently have food in the microwave because I haven't eaten lunch. So we are right in front of the window. Let's talk about how the foundation is looking. So I really do like the shade of it. I think the shade matches me really well. Overall, for not having on a powder right now, when you get up close, it looks a bit dry. I still don't like how it looks on my forehead at all, but now even around, put the smear down, around here, looks pretty dry when you get up close. Let me zoom you guys in here. It just looks a bit dry to me in areas where I don't usually look dry. Here's my forehead. I actually think it's looking 
better on camera than it does in real life right now. But it's not majorly caking up or creasing on my upper lip or anything. It looks good from far away everywhere except my forehead and I'm not getting super oily or anything yet so that's good. So I'm gonna keep this on. We're gonna shoot for the full 10 hours. Bachelor is on tonight. I'm stoked and I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the night. Okay, so it is now 1130 So the foundation has been on for a full 12 hours. This is a long wear test I started filming in the other room like I normally do with the lights and everything But I feel like you just can't see it the same So I don't know let me know if you guys like filming in this kind of lighting or if you like seeing it under the studio lights for the last check-in let me know, but sometimes I feel like you just can't see what I'm talking about as much. 12 hours. For being on for 12 hours, I'm actually not super oily. For 12 hours, I'm normally like total grease ball without a powder. Look, I mean, I'm definitely oily, but it's not like horrendous or anything. Oily around my nose area. It just doesn't look good. On my skin, this one just doesn't work. What I was really noticing, see if you can see in this light. I don't know, it just looks really textured and like dry to me. Around here, my skin just looks dry and cakey and the forehead doesn't look super great. It's wearing off of my chin down here. I might've had my hand on that. So it did come off down here a bit, and I also feel like it rubbed off around my nose. Overall, I just think 38 bucks, this one on my skin. This one is a no for me. I'm kind of bummed because I like the idea of this one a lot. A solid, full coverage, compact foundation. That sounds great. So I'm just kind of bummed this one didn't work out. Since I didn't like it off of first application, like before it even wore at all, I don't know if I'm gonna try this one with a powder, maybe. I just, I mean, it just didn't go on very well. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Foundation Friday, every Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I just finished watching The Bachelor. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.